In the spring of 1943, German High Command developed a strategic offensive codenamed Operation Citadel, whose goal was to crush Soviet resistance on the Kursk salient and seize strategic initiative in the region. The strongest forces and finest generals of the Wehrmacht were selected to head the operation to ensure its flawless execution. According to the plan, Army Group Center, led by Field Marshal Gunther von Kluge, would attack from the north, while Army Group South, under the command of Field Marshal Erich von Manstein, would push forward on the southern flank. The combined armies were to surround and destroy the Soviet position on the Kursk salient. The Wehrmacht's main attack force consisted of 50 divisions, including 16 tank and motorized forces and various separate units totaling over 900,000 soldiers, about 10,000 heavy guns and mine throwers, and 2,700 tanks and assault guns. The ground forces were supported by the aircraft of the 4th and 6th Air Fleets, which had approximately 2,050 planes at their disposal. Moreover, it was one of the first operations which saw a massive deployment of the latest German technologies. Tiger and Panther tanks, Ferdinand tank destroyers, Fokker Wolf 190A fighters, Henschel 129 ground attack aircraft, and the anti-tank variant of the Junker 87 dive bomb.